with an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's 0 0 draw at home to Hornchurch. Aggie, your thoughts on that one? Uh, got to take our chances, haven't we? Um, yes, it's so the long and the short of it. I think we've We've cracked three or four really, really, really decent chances. Um, and, you know, obviously Hornchurch should come here. They're very happy with the point. Um, sat in a block, tried to counter. And I thought we negated that pretty well. Um, just need to put the ball in the net. And I thought we created enough chances to do that. So that's, that's a long and short of it, really. Plenty of positives, like so dominant in possession. Mm. But you must be pleased with most of what you saw. Just frustrating that you couldn't get the ball in the back of the net, really. Yeah, I mean, it's a sign of sign of respect, isn't it? When teams are just you know happy coming to Worthing and just sitting in. Um, it's credit to the football club and credit to the work that's gone gone on long before me. So um, yeah, I'd, yeah, there was there was loads to like, really. I mean, I think Hagey's had one save to make, um, first clean sheet of the season, which was good. Um, just really dominant, really controlled. I thought we could change tempo a little bit sooner at times. I felt at times we uh, were a bit one-paced um, and I felt when we did go up through the gears, that's where our best moments come from. But it's hard like that. That is so difficult to break down. And, you know, they're not, they're not 11 average players. They're 11 very good players. I mean, you know, they've got some real quality in forward areas and part of me is quite pleased that they did just sit in because you think if they actually had a bit more of a go uh, in terms of pushing us back a little bit more, it might have caused us more problems. But um, you know, credit to the players in terms of how they went about their business. Uh, another point picked up against a decent side. Um, yeah, just got to put the ball in there. That first clean sheet is going to be a big yeah. takeaway as well. How, how much of a boost do you think that's going to be? Is it sort of setting a platform for moving forward? Yeah, I, yeah, and I think that's the way that we're going to do it is by having the football and being very good with the football. Um, you know, it's obviously there's going to be at least 30% of the time the opposition are going to have the ball. Um, so we need to do the basics. Yeah, I just thought we got around first and seconds really well, like defending our 18 yard box well, defending set pieces really well. It's just real basic stuff, but fundamentals really are so important that perhaps we haven't done um, so far this season. Yeah, the, the thing is, if if Cash scores the one in the first half, the goalkeeper doesn't pull off a weldy. Spongy score, like Paco score, you go, that's a, that's a really good home performance and you win the game sort of two or three and you go, that's, that's a good day at the office. So uh, I, think, I think we can be really positive. The, the way it would be is if we weren't creating chances and I just said to the players and now I can't be too critical of our attacking players because they've, well, in a week where we've picked up seven points, um, they've, they've been fundamental and, and central to that so uh, they're, allowed to, they're allowed to miss the odd one. There was a concern for Harrison Smith today, obviously came off injured with a head injury, how mm. is he doing? Yeah, won a great challenge. It wasn't a great challenge. I'm still wondering what the fourth official's there for, because he had a very good view of it. Um, and they had all the, the comms today. They looked, looked like they were from the Premier League. So I was, I was very impressed. But um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how they've missed that, because he's been elbowed and split his head open. It wasn't great at all. Um, so uh, he'll be all right. He's, he's a tough lad and might knock some sense into him. But uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. Uh, I'm more disappointed with the match officials not seeing it to be honest because it's, 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 not, it's not a good tackle at all, a good challenge at all, he's just he's smashed with his elbow so he knows what he's doing as well so um, oh well, perhaps next time. And looking ahead then, it's uh, a break away from league football now, yeah, yeah. back at home against having a Waterloo in the FA Cup next week. Um, first of all, your thoughts on the draw and, and then yeah, how are you looking ahead of it? Yeah, I know I know you're their manager, Sean North, uh, head coach manager. Uh, he's good, he's really good. I, I learned a lot from him when I was with him at East Wambara. He's very, uh, very diligent, very switched on. So uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it looks very similar to today in terms of their approach, um, um, which Rightly or wrongly, I think maybe we need to get used to that at Woodside this year. I just can't envisage. I don't know. Like, I just think that's the way teams are going to play against us, which is obviously a pat on the back. But um, 
you know, it presents certain challenges, of course. But you know, we're more than good enough to break it down, and I think they'll be the same next week against Haven. I think they'll, uh, they'll come here and they'll make it awkward, and it will be a very awkward game. Obviously, you know, there's a bit of a derby element to it as well. It's not a million miles away, so um, you know, I look forward to look forward to the challenge and look forward to you know, if we can win that game. That's a that's a decent run starting to develop and uh, a bit of momentum, which is good. Thanks, thank you.